What's up YouTube, I am back once again with yet another tutorial. Today's tutorial I'll be teaching you guys how to test the capacity on lithium 18650 cells and also the capacity for nickel metal hydrite NiCAD or the lithium polymer type. So um, yeah let's get started. So if you do not have a uh, lithium balance charger slash discharger, this is the method you want to use. So um, to discharge these cells you're probably going to want a watch. Uh, two multimeters and uh, a load. Uh, my load is two uh, 12 volt DC motors and uh, Once they are running they draw around 1.3 amps sometimes 1.2 But uh, it would be good if you had a constant load uh, this can change uh, If you have like, a different kind of battery when you have a different battery these motors draw a different amount of uh, power from them so that's why you want to watch it and watch the voltage so basically you want to fully charge these batteries to our uh, 4.2 volts. I'll just do 4.2 so you know how much this thing can actually hold. Um, basically what you want to do is once you've hooked up a load you want to hook up your multimeter in parallel to get the voltage and then hook up the other multimeter which measures the current in series. So um, I'm just going to turn that on now. That will just turn on automatically. So um, basically uh, you just want to connect it all up, uh, run a wire down and here is my negative and this is the positive. So I'm going to use this cell here. So um, it's a little dirty. It had um, originally it was wrapped in tape in a battery pack, but uh, yeah, I'm probably going to clean it up. But it's got a uh, solder on the top, so I can uh, join the alligator leads pretty easy. So I uh, just want to get your negative connected up, just like that. Then you want to get your your positive alligator and hook that up. And you can see the motors are on right now. So when I come to the timer, click start, and then the amp drawer is 1.28, you know, it's fluctuating a bit, but you kind of want to, you find the top amp drawer and the lowest and kind of go in the middle. If you have drawn 1.28 amps for one hour, that basically means you have drawn 1,280 milliamps an hour. So that's basically how you get your milliamp hour rating. And, um... I'll show you an example here. And, um, basically, um, as you can see here, I have a few measurements that I've done already. Um, the first one was a 600 milliamp drawer, so that took a little longer. But um, you kind of don't want to go over one amp too much because most cells aren't usually measured uh, then more than um, that current um, rating. But uh, anyways, I uh, will look at the Sony SE US18650. VC3, I think that is, and um, the original capacity is 1900 milliamp hours. And uh, I did some tests with 1.38 milliamp, 1.38 amps, sorry, not milliamps, for 30 minutes. I did 1.26 amps for 30 minutes as well, and I did 1.22 amps for 15 minutes. So um, if you add all that up, you obviously get uh, 1620 milliamp hours so um you can see I did uh, a few calculations divisions and all that but um yeah it's basically the uh the way to test the capacity for these 8 and 650 cells and uh once you've done you just want to put it on a charger charge it back up to 4.2 volts and then um I just put it in a bin of uh completed cells so as you can see this was that Sony cell the 1620 uh the uh Sanyo uh, 1400 milliamp hour got a uh, 2200 and uh, the Panasonic one, the UR 18650 uh, got a uh, 2260. So uh, obviously we're testing that one now. Um, this one here got 2300, which is pretty good. These uh, Panasonic cells seem to be pretty good for our capacity, but um, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to test capacity on 8 and 650 cells or any kind of battery. Uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and uh, thanks for watching.